Welcome back to Point Blank. That's right. We are <gasps> still <gasps> ghost. <gasps> the lady with the tweets. <laughs> <laughs> because we are still on the topic of disappearing spots in Singapore that is like our you know our symbol for our show tonight okay first of all since we're on this part of the show already you know I, I, I love love movies so much <laughs> do you? really? yeah <laughs> yeah? do you love movies? yeah <laughs> yeah it's like you know some I don't know a propaganda machine like that okay but tonight we're not asking about you know what's on our big screens but where are our big screens yep so we're seeing many of our old school neighborhood cinemas closing down uh, with the latest being princess cinema in Bedok. so we welcome in our studio to examine this phenomenon more closely gabby gu hey gabby hey, hi. hi yeah that's gabby she's a reporter oh yeah that's our intro music <laughs> No, uh, thank you. Compliments uh, from yeah. Cheryl, the Kampong boy. Yes, <laughs> Gabby is a reporter from Wamba who recently wrote an article on the closure of several cinemas in the Budok area. The latest of it being the Princess Cinema, mm. which is the fifth of you know the cine- fifth cinema in Budok to close down in the past twenty years. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, um, Gabby, what have you you know? What, did, what what made you sit up and take notice of the fact that yeah. that princess had closed down? Oh, actually, you know, uh, every newspaper have the hotline. So uh, one of the readers SMS us, saying that oh, you know, we are supposed to have Chang Yi, the Beidou, Li Hua Gong, and mm. all those old cinemas there, and suppose they they were having the princess. Then I say, oh, when uh, I came, there, I went there a few months ago. Why it was closed down? Mm. So. Oh, it just as as massive. So uh, I was wondering, uh, why not I go there and take a look? So it, I remember it was uh, New Year Eve. So everybody was bye bye. I go home and celebrate <laughs> the New Year. Yeah. That was bye bye. I'm going to Bordeaux. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work. But yeah, it was yeah. a good story. It was it was worth your New Year's Eve time. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I went there. Um, actually, the <coughs> cinema now is under renovation. Uh, I saw one old lady, Ape, was sweeping the floor. I say, hello, Ape, what happened here? Oh, no, 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 renovation, renovation, go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> no more, so I went downstairs and asked the uh, fast food McDonald's, one of, uh, one of the customer there. I say, what happens to upstairs? Oh, there used to be a cinema there, uh, but it's closed down already. I say, how many months? They say, oh, two to three months. So I carry out my... Routine job, asking mm. why it was closed down, how it will go. Yeah, people saying um, it was quite big. Actually, mm. the spaces. Uh, oh, it's so you, you you went yeah. there before? I was there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Actually, I get the positive comments from the residents mm. there. They were saying it's very spacious, um, but unlucky, the business might not be so good mm. towards the later part of the. Mm. Well, Cheryl here, Cheryl used to live in Budok. Budok Reservoir, actually. Budok Reservoir. Reservoir. Okay, yeah. so he was there until, out about till last year before he moved to, you know, another area. So, you know, you did you also used to go to Princess Cinema? Yes, I did. I went to Princess and Changi as well. And I remember watching my first movie there. It was Jaws 3D. You had to wear the... Glasses. Whoa, got 3D. Uh. Yeah. So the shark was like yeah. coming at you. The shark was, that was coming. like 50 years ago, they had 3D. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 50 years ago Kaling <laughs> <laughs> mean Kaling one Share zero Ting ting It's okay. okay I lived in a kampong So I can look 18 All my life <laughs> That's your, your <laughs> Good comeback <laughs> <laughs> So did you enjoy Going to those cinemas? Um, yeah actually It's not much It's In a way It's not much different From yeah. the current cineplexes Now the spaces are the same And the sound quality Is all the same uh, the only difference, the only difference I can see in all the closed cinemas with the current cineplexes is Capital. Mm. Capital, they have the circle and the stall, te- stall seats, and the theater is really big, and they got nice decor on the sides, and the, s- the screen is really, very big. So, yeah, Capital is the, the one that I miss. Like. You mm. watch movies at Capital before? So. I watch Point Break. Um, what else? Are, what, yeah, I remember watching Point Break there, and I watched The Crow there. The so Crow. you mean there were several old cinemas within mm. the same Bordeaux area before? Mm. 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 Wow, you have a very fruitful life, Cheryl. I know. You're trying to say long life. 
euphemism. <laughs> anyway, Razor TV went to check out the princess before she bit the dust. Well, did we find any residents paying mm -hmm. tribute to the late princess? Let's hear it from the residents of Badok. Even with their promise of glamour and charm in the 1990s, old school cinemas don't seem very resistant in the face of rising competition from the unparalleled comfort and superior sound systems offered by today's multiplexes. One after another, we are seeing more old school cinemas falling like dominoes. Just late last year, residents of Badok bade farewell to the last remaining cinema in their neighbourhood. The downfall of the princess follows from a series of closures of other cinemas in the Badok area, namely Changi, Badok, Li Hua Kong and Prince Theatres. With the nearest or next best alternative being Downtown East or Tampines Mall, Razor TV checked out how residents in the area are coping with their latest loss and what they liked most about the late princess. For me, I would prefer it to be open still, like remain in operation. Because I, I like this place, uh. it's like not so many people. Quite disappointing actually. Why? Because it's quite near my house, so yeah, if I'm watching like midnight movie, I can just walk home. It's really quite a waste uh, because it's much cheaper. So when you say cheaper, how much cheaper are you talking about? Two to three dollars. Yeah, two to three dollars. Compared to? Um, like Cathay, GV, Shop. Yeah. There's a lot of neighborhood schools around here, so yeah, the after school they will come. They'll come here because very convenient. I just take a bus here and then they can watch the movie here. Um, compared to the other cinemas which are quite far away. There are old folks, uh, the elderly who patronise this cinema. Are there many of them? Compared to the modern, the more developed, yeah, there are many more, there are many more than... And I think being old, I don't think you want to go to those kind of hip places where young people go, right? Yeah, you feel quite embarrassed also. Uh, so, this might be one of the good things about this cinema. They allow those elderly to feel at ease. Uh. Yeah. Oh, we are like can't see. You think can't see? Ah, Oh, I don't know. You want to see what the scene is? The scene. The scene is the closest to the scene. What is the scene? Tampani. Tampani. If you can't see it, you will go to Tampani. No, no, no. I'm going to get hurt. 我来，我这边来来来看医生的。顺便来看。啊，对。Princess Tree, the screen is very big, and like the place itself, there's many seats and all. Yeah, so uh, for me, that's the best picture. And the take on her demise? Uh, ambiance is very different from the other cinemas. It's quite uh dirty, I'd say, and the uh, seats and the smell. There's a distinct smell when you get inside there. What kind of a smell is that? Kind of si sour smell. Sour? Yeah, it's <laughs> quite bad, uh, the cleanliness of the area. You guys can actually smoke inside the Princess Cinema, is that true? <laughs> I, I did try smoking inside once. But no one stopped us from doing that. You can bring outside food, you can basically do a lot. You can do funny stuff in there as well. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you know, yeah. One thing is the seats are not very good. One person sick and the whole row will shake. It's quite bad. The seating arrangement. Because um, it's rather than the new generation ones, which is like theater, right? But those are like gallery ones, right? So I um, usually get those at the at the, the ones at the bottom. So I don't quite like it. Uh, too small. Ah, the seats are very But like heard from people who watch it before, like it's very dirty and all. Yeah, it is like kind of low standard. So. You wouldn't want to watch a movie like, you know, having cockroach everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Heard about cockroaches running about. As in, in this movie, yeah. I, it's quite, yeah, that's in this um, space here, it's very cheap old. La. It, yeah. It's much cheaper, but for me, I think I'd rather pay a few more bucks for a better place. Uh, but I seldom catch movie. Uh. If there's inter interesting ones, I will catch online. At home. Yeah. Piracy, you mean? Yes, piracy, why not? That's why Princess will close down. Do you know that cinema is closed down already? One of the things that, you know, Gabby's uh, article talked about was, you know, the fact that uh, Badook is one of the densest, most densely populated yes. townships in Singapore. Yes. And it can't even support, you know, a, mm. a neighbourhood cinema, right? Yeah. 
Yes, um, actually we went there because we think Tampines probably is the biggest town in Singapore. But later we checked the statistics. Bodo is the first with mm. 280,000 population there. But um, we interviewed some of the residents there. They were saying, oh no, you know, the Tampines, they have two cinemas. One is Cathay, the other is GV. So mm. you either go GV Tampines or you go Cathay, the downtown east one. So <coughs> um, some of the students say, Although the previous old cinemas are very big, are very dark, but we pay like four to five dollars, uh, and then we uh, our school is nearby, so it's pretty convenient to come here. Mm. But now is we take the MRT or take the bus there, or uh, now it's like six dollars for student fare. Yeah, so they will think like. Why not? We just have one more cinema there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I also called up the show, uh, several uh, cinema players in the industry. They were saying that um, there is no proper sites for building a cinema because most of them were saying now the trend is having a cinema in complex. The shopping mall. Yeah. 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 So you don't only have cinema itself, but you have like shopping, arcade, even KTV. Mm the restaurants there, so everything included mm. all in one. <gasps> and I think the new cineplexes also gave, give like, a, well, maybe convenience is not the right word, but you, I'm sure many of us have found ourselves there and then like, oh, um, sold out. Then you just pick any other show because there'll be like eight other mm. cineplexes, so there'll be probably like eight other movies that, that's on. Mm-hmm. So you, you get a bit more, more choice in that sense. Mm-hmm. So what, and one of the things that I noted about you know, people's complaints about neighborhood cinemas, it seems to be dirty, la, their cockroaches, la, mm. the, the run, equipment is run down, no, stuff like that. Is it true of Princess Cinema, Sharil? Um, not when I was there. Uh, when I was there, it was, it was still pretty much as very clean, but not as uh, swanky or, mm. you know, it, they don't have the, the, the drinks holder right? and they don't have popcorn. And You're a definite yeah. supporter <laughs> of the old cinema. And wait, 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 wait. How long ago was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, 10 years ago. Yeah. Mm. In 10 years ago, an infant can become like, you know, yeah. a primary school old. kid. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like, <but laughs> 10 years <laughs> Yeah, do the math. Yeah, like, but um, it's not as bad as they, 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 they picture it to be like cockroaches and everything. Mm. Like even like, uh, when I watched a, a, a <coughs> Bollywood movie in I uh, can't remember which which theater was it. It was somewhere in China. Yangzi. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was one of the reportedly sleaziest oh, and okay. dirtiest, but it's still very clean. Okay. As clean as this studio, even. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, some of the old cinemas, they, they, they might be clean and they even have the air cons. Mm. But uh, two of my friends <laughs> went to the, one of the old cinemas in Clementi before, a few years back. Mm. And I asked them, well, so how does that go? They say, um, okay, we pay $5, go there, dark, spacious, but it's okay lah. <laughs> and then, will you go again? They say, um, probably we will go Jurong East. <laughs> because yeah. at that time, we're staying at the Clementi, yeah. so they will probably go to the nearby better, mm. so different choices. Yeah, well, seeing what's happened to Badok in the state of, you know, cinemalessness, <laughs> Razor TV went to check out another <laughs> neighbourhood cinema in another neighbourhood. Yeah, so our next act, um, Jubilee and Ang Ah, uh, Yep, that's right. Let's take a look at Jubilee in Ang Given the sorry fate of the princess, some are already voicing their fears that another neighbourhood cinema in Jubilee within the Ang Mokyo area could very well be in danger of facing inevitable extinction as well. Even before the establishment of megaplexes like the Ang Mokyo Hub in the area, many have already expressed concerns over the emptiness of the place, an ominously familiar sight at the princess before she bit the dust. So do residents of Amokyo think Jubilee will be the next casualty of commercialization, or do they still harbor hope that this cinema could still stand a chance in the survival game for, well, the hippest? It's like, uh, like when Amokyo uh, built already, I never come here anymore already. How come? Because I go there see movie, and I go Amokyo Hub see movies. My mother never bring me here anymore. You only bring to meet me to Amokyo Hub to see movies. Okay, do you prefer this cinema in Jubilee or do you prefer the one at Amokyo Hub? Uh, here. I 
Why? Uh, because I think the popcorn is more nicer than. than <laughs> yeah, have you watched a movie here before? Uh, no. Yeah. Why? Uh, because ever since the new hub is up, yeah, I always go there. Watch. Yeah. What about the new hub cinema that you prefer? First thing first, of course, it's cleaner, and uh, I guess it's the whole environment. There are like more shops there, so it's like more convenient and stuff. Yeah. Tried watching a show here. Um, no, I have not. Yeah, not even once. Yeah. Actually, I feel that uh, there's a lot of potential in this place. It's just that the, I guess, the marketing and the way um, the different shops that that are around here, I guess, it, it's just got to change in order to attract the crowd to compete with the the hub. I guess. Where do you usually watch your movie? I'm Okio Hub. I'm Okio Hub. Okay, so uh, why is it that it never occurred to you to watch a movie? Yes. <laughs> I don't know here a cinema. Huh? I don't know here have a cinema. That Princess Cinema just closed down, right? In Bedok. So do you? Um, Jubilee, I mean, this cinema over here in Jubilee will suffer a similar fate. I think it's a matter of time, yeah. So why is it that people would rather go to Amokyo Hub than to watch a movie? Hmm, I think it's, the reason is very obvious, right? It's more hip, right? Eh? Huh? No, look, the crowd is there, everything is new. Yeah, nah, this is old, it is. You've never watched a movie before? Jubilee? Yeah. Once or twice, uh. but wow. the first one, the first time I watched it, the Blackout. Very long ago, like uh, eight years ago. Yeah. So what yeah. happened after that? <coughs> we funded us. Yeah. The seats here are more better. In what way? More comfortable. More comfortable. Apart from the seats, uh, is there anything else that you like about this place? Uh, more, more accessible. Lah. No need to, for a Jubilee, you still have to walk a distance. Like, because here, I'm not pass straight away to the MRT station. If you go Jubilee, you have to walk out and it's no... No underground and more hot the weather. Okay. You need to walk outdoors. You've been to Jubilee before, right? To watch a movie. And is there, what are some of the features about it that you like? Uh, Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, there has to be something about it that's different from the one in, in Amokyo Hub, right? Uh, nothing much as Jubilee. Okay, so you think Amokyo Hub wins um, Jubilee hands down? Uh, yes. Um, it's inconvenient for me to, uh, to go downstairs. So after the show, you have to go down the stairs. So therefore... I, I select this. <laughs> I don't have to walk around the stairs. Down here, you don't have to climb too many stairs. Just come out from the other side. Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 what way is that? As in, they have they leave their mopping and cleaning things around because that time I was sitting beside there and then I saw like broom and mop beside me. Yeah, and the seats is sometimes wet and smelly. Okay, I'm going to speak up for Jubilee. Um, it's Thank not you. that old. I think I was studying in the in the area that time and it was it was actually it actually opened after Junction Eight and I watched a movie there before it was fine. So I don't know what they're talking about. So not wet and smelly. Eh? No, it wasn't. No, but, but maybe, of course, now compared to Amokyo Hub, it definitely loses out. But I think it's, it has to be better than Princess. Okay, do you guys know of any other cinemas? Um, I, I think the next one around the area, probably Topayo. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. but Topayo, now Inghua spokesperson, told me that it's under renovation. Mm. So it will open. Are they going to split it to Cineplexes? Yes, Cineplexes. Ah. Oh, what's the way to go? Yeah, multiplexes. <laughs> yeah. This goes to prove it is disappearing at. This is the oh, trend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, you should go to your neighborhood cinema while you still can before it disappears. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that about wraps it up for our show. Thanks yeah. so much. Real credits. Uh, thank you. Gabby and, uh, <laughs> and Sharu. Yeah, just broke credits now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>